Hello and welcome to a brand new video series called ML4 Face Face Detection. So as the name itself suggests, in this series we are going to cover all of the techniques required for face detection. So if you stick around till the end of this video series, which is not going to be very long, you will know more than 80 to 90 percent of the concepts used for face used for facial detection in the industry. These methods. You will get to know about which method to apply all the software that is when you have a certain kind of hardware. For example, when you are running on CPU, a powerful GPU, or when you are running an edge device. So it's some really exciting stuff. So even if you don't know anything about face detection, stick around. I will introduce all of the techniques from beginner to advanced along with the theory, the algorithms, as well as the code. And you, all, you will also get this notebook which contains the code and as well as the theory for all of the algorithms. So you can use it as a reference whenever you are trying to build some of your own projects or work in the industry. So we'll cover four techniques in this series. And there is one new technique which works better than all of these that I will cover at the end of the video. But all of these techniques are essential for understanding image processing because they are used a lot in the industry and all of them have their own separate use case. That's why we will know which that's why we'll call all of them and you'll know which to use in what scenario so let me just quickly go through the requirements so first of all the only thing that you need to install is opencv and dlib and it's implied that you already have python and basic uh, and basic data science materials installed so i expect you to know how to use python how to use anaconda and how to install software using pip and anaconda so I'm using Ubuntu. If you're using Windows, that's fine. I'll just walk you through how to install that. So just install OpenCV. It's straightforward. Use pip. Install NumPy using pip. Install imutils using pip. Now dlib is a bit tricky. Now you can install d pip install dlib on macOS or on Ubuntu or on Linux, but you cannot do the same on Windows. So for Windows, there's there are a lot of steps that you need to take care because you need to build your own version. So if you want to install a pre-built version just with this command called pip install and the link to that distribution, you will need to have Python 3.6. Otherwise it won't run. Or if you want to install with your own desired version of Python, you will have to follow all of these steps and it's even then it's not guaranteed that it's going to work. So I, pr I, I would suggest that you install Anaconda, make a new environment where you have Python 3.6 installed and just get all of these softwares and you can easily install dlib by running this command the link is in the description but otherwise you're free to just use cmake and install numpy and mkl and finally install dlib that if that's if that's your way of doing stuff if you, if you are comfortable with using cmake and visual studio then yeah that's that's fine go ahead in the next section we'll look into the first algorithm that is har casket classifier